All right, this is our bridge for uh, Welcome. Okay, so there's actually two guitars in this uh, part of the song, kind of creating a little ambiance in the background. Um, but what I'm going to do is, since it's kind of manageable to uh, handle them both with one guitar part, playing it alone, I'll show you how to do it with just um, one guitar. Uh, the whole thing starts with the D chord that we learned earlier. And basically, one guitar is going from D to G. And the G chord I'm here is I'm using here is uh, first finger, second fret, fifth string, second finger, sixth fret, sixth string, third finger, third fret, second string, and pinky on the uh, third fret on um, first string. Looks like that. It should sound like that. So it's going to start with a D, then this thing. Here is I quickly move my first finger up to the fourth, third, and second strings all on the seventh fret, strike it, and kind of cut it off and slide it down at the same time. So we have from there we go to G, and then we're going to do another kind of slide down thing, except here it's going to be this uh, kind of a sour sounding G chord. And quick slide down its index finger on seventh fret, fourth string, and third string, second finger on eighth fret, second string. Then we're back to D, and for this part with the D chord, we're going to go, which is we're going to add our pinky here on the third fret of the first string, pluck that note, and then pull off to our second fret note. And then just kind of go through the strings here, second string, and then third string. So we have whole thing. And then we're going to do a quick G. Move our chord shape up here. And what I did here is I just took the D chord shape and moved it up to the 7th fret. So we just move it up here and then take our pinky, put it on the 8th fret. Same exact maneuver we did with D. Then we're going to move back to second string. And then first finger flops over on the seventh fret. Like so. And that second, third, and fourth string. So the whole maneuver looks like this. Exactly the same thing we did before. We have a quick G. Instead of uh, playing all three of these separately, we're just going to play them together. So when we take that whole thing together, it's going to look like this. I'll do it nice and slow for you. this thing. And what I'm doing there is 12th fret, 1st finger over the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings, then down to 10th. And I strum this 8 times. Once, twice, three times and we move up to 14th fret with just down picks and then our solo starts from there which we will cover uh, in a couple segments from here um, so there it is there's that uh, bridge to the song and by the way there is another guitar when we're doing this we have one down here. And that's just bar chords. It's going to be um, first finger across all six strings, second on fourth fret of third string, and pinky in 
third finger on fifth fret, that being on the fifth string and fourth string, something like this. And I'm moving it down to first fret. And for the outro, we're going to move up to fifth fret. So anyway, that's the second guitar part. What we've really done here is combine both guitars into one guitar. Um, because each one of them on their own is so sparse, it'd take me all day to go through both of them in every little note. I'd rather just give you something that you can play that sounds just like the recording, um, and you can do it all on your own. So there we go. There's that. That leaves us to move on to the solo, or the rhythm, under the second solo.